Hello my friends, we are back in Luminar Neo and today I am going to teach you how to take a daytime photo like this and turn it into a night photo like this. We will do a few different examples. We'll start with this one, which is the easiest one. Then we'll do this one over here. This one um, does not have a sky, so we'll be uh, working a little bit differently to change it from day to night. And then also I will use this photo to show you what to look out for, mistakes that you should be avoiding and you know, how to go around it. So let's get right into it. I will start with this image and first I want to replace the sky. So I am going to go into my sky AI and I have to pick a nighttime sky. I didn't want to put a Milky Way sky just because it's not about the Milky Way for this image, but I did not go outside to take any photos in the dark of just plain dark size, so we'll use this one. If you want to do this in your photos, I really suggest you go outside and take photos of the sky and then load, load them into the sky AI and use them as you would want. So we change the sky. I'm going to go to, let's see, sky adjustment, and I'm going to darken it because I don't want it to be about the Milky Way. I just want it to be a dark sky. All right, and that looks good. Now I want to remove this sky from, because it darkened my image a little bit. If you see that before and after, it darkened my light. So I want to bring some of that light back. So I'm going to take the eraser, make my brush bigger, and just kind of dab once into the middle, just to bring back some of that light. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one again. Maybe one more in here, and then one in here. There you go. And now we brought back some of that light. The next step we're going to do, we're going to apply, if you've seen my video of how to apply sun flare, I put a download in there for to download this sun flare. I will link it in the description of this video too, so you can go uh, download it so you can use it. And if you already downloaded from the Sunflare video, then use the same one. It's exactly the same Sunflare. You do not need to download it again. So this is my Sunflare. I'm going to increase the opacity to 100% and change the blending mode to screen. And now I have this nice Sunflare that I can move around. And I will put it into my light, resize it so it fits. And make it even a little bit smaller. I just wanted to fit the light. And maybe something like that. Now I am going to add one more of the same thing. I'm going to go through the same process. Increase 100% blending mode to screen and resize it. So if it's on my light, Maybe something like this. And then one more for the other light. 100% blending mode to screen. You can use this sun flare for so many things. I have a few of them that I made in Photoshop, just different variations. And they come very handy for, you know, creative edits like this. So there you go, now we're lighting up our little street light. All right, now I am going to add more of the same sun flare. Change the blending mode to screen. And this time I am going to make it bigger because when you have a light that is on at night, they would have a glow around it, the light to radiate outside of the globe. So I'm just gonna make this bigger than the globe and reduce the opacity maybe to 25%, something like that. And you guessed it, I have to do one for each one of those light globes. Move it over there. Blend it more to screen. Reduce opacity. Make it a little bit bigger. I apologize for the background noise, but it's raining out here. And let's see, even a little bit bigger smaller I'm sorry all right and one more for the last one 
Um, oops, I'm sorry. That one stays there. Change to screen. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the next layer. I was editing the wrong one. Screen. And I'm gonna put it on the last light. Kind of like that. I'm gonna go back to this one. I think I changed the opacity too high. There you go, something like that. And let's see, now this is our image before and after. Before and after. Let's move on to the other example that does not have a sky. And that is, oh, by the way, let's go back in here. You can change, if you go to your um, layers, let's say the first layers that I did, you can always go to the color and you can make it increase the saturation if you need. You see, I can give it more color. Or you can go into HSL and change to hue, the hue. You can make it more red or more green or whatever you want. You can also, on those sun flares, just go to develop and you can make them brighter if you need to. You don't want to make them too bright where you can see it on the outside background. But, you know... You can mess with it and make it fit um, your image. As you can see, it's a little bit different result than what I did here when I was playing around with it. But, uh, you know, you can change the white balance and make it warmer. So anyway, let's move into the second example. And for this one, first we have to turn it from light to night. For that, I will turn down the exposure. And also, when you have a night photo, usually it's a very blue tone. So we want to shift the white balance to very blue. And there you have it. Now we have to erase where we wanted to put the light. So with my erase tool, I'm going to erase some over here. And it's already looking better. Just like that. Then we are going to go to our sun flare and opacity 100%, screen blending mode, and now we can move it. It won't let me move it. Come on, work with me. There you go. And now we have to kind of resize it so it fits within our light. Maybe something like that. And then with the 50% opacity erase, I'm going to erase some of this at the top. And all right, now we are adding one more opacity 100%, blending mode to screen. And this one I'm going to make it very small to be like the very hot spot in the middle. Maybe something like this. Maybe even desaturate it a little. Let's see. We can go to color and take the saturation maybe down a little bit. Something like that. And then we can add one more to get the glow around. And this one will reduce the opacity, change blending mode to screen. You can really add as many layers as you want to make it look more believable. And, of course, if I would have taken the time to really do this, I would have probably erased out of these layers this bar over here just about 30% just because it would not be as bright as, you know, it would be the other sides because this is like in the front of the light. But the light will wrap around and it will get some light in there. So if you erase like, you know, 30%, it would probably look more believable. So let's see this. This is our before 
and after, before and after. Now let's move into the third example, and that is this one. Now we do have a sky, so I will change the sky. Um, we'll go to edit, we'll go to sky, I am going to pick a sky and probably I will choose, let's say this one. Is that the one I want? Let's go with that one. Then I am going to go to scene relight and increase the strength so I can darken the foreground as much as I can. And then also at the sky adjustment, I am going to take the brightness down to make it darker. Now here's the things to look out for. This image was taken during the day and it was sunny outside and you can see these very strong shadows on the left side. That means the sun was probably here somewhere on the right and is casting these very strong shadows. So we're doing a photo like this and changing it into nighttime. It would not be realistic because you can tell that something was up over here. And you can get away with this if you would really darken this side so you do not see the shadows. But, you know, just be aware of it. That's, let's see, I'm going to get out of details and develop and then go back in and take the exposure down. You'll have to go pretty dark to camouflage those shadows. And, you know, I don't know if that's something you want to do. It's better to just work with the photo that just works better to begin with. So that's better. Now I am going to go to my sky edit and I am going to erase a little bit of the sky edit from over here to reveal some light. Um, let's see, maybe I want to be a little bit more exact with this. There you go. And now, of course, we can go to our sun flare. And with our sun flare selected, I'm going to go to layer properties, change the blend mode to screen, opacity 100%. And we are going to resize it. So if it's our light source, I'm going to do this quickly so you don't have to watch me do this for the next 30 minutes. But you should play with your image and really, you know, make it match better. So there you go. I'm only going to do one layer. You can, you know, do more. But there's one that there's the thing about the shadows that I really wanted to tell you. And then also when you have a street light like this, usually it casts some light on the ground, on, you know, the nearby things around. So for that, you would probably want to go take a brush that has, you know, higher exposure, maybe a very warm light. If you have a warm light, then you it cast a warm light. And with that, you would want to paint. Oh, hold on. I have to go into my image, not the sun flare. So you go to develop, you increase the exposure, and then you make it very, very warm. To match your light and then with that you will just paint where the light will be spilling like somewhere around here maybe get some light it probably like will bounce some light into this little fence over here probably on the ground we will cast some light around the light and you know i think i went too far it should have been around here but you get the idea think about where this light will cast the light Look at the shadows and try to cover up so it kind of matches your light source. And um, this is how you would turn a photo from day to night on Luminar Neo. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I will see you in my next video.